It's Wednesday morning hump day, Wednesday morning hump day, Wednesday morning hump day, and I mean the afternoon, yeah. Turns out a co-worker's still sick, son of a bitch. He actually went to the hospital, son of a bitch. <clears throat> son of a bitch. So it's gonna be another bullshit day, son of a bitch. But welcome to my vlog, you son of a bitch. Vape in the whole wide world of Tartimizer in a tank. Skinny douche. I taste. Uh, uh. Basically, what's really going on here is the internet's down, which means I'm gonna have a hell of a time at work tonight. Fuck shit, piss cock balls. That's right, service is down, which means the phones are gonna be blowing up like nukes. Frig six. Busier than a son of a bitch tonight, and it's only me and Bruce, and uh, I just, I, 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 I can't. I, I, I can't. I'm hoping it's just my router that shit the bed. Ugh, I hate this short staff bullshit. Well, the router's not at fault because it's got a blue orb there, so I'm actually connected to the internet, connected to work. I gotta clean that thing off. But, uh, I'm connected. I'm not even sure where the fuck my modem is anymore. I can't tell how many lights you have on. It looks like you have four. Yeah, you have four. So the modem and the router are connected, but it won't surf. So you know what that means? That means the gateway shit the bed at work. And that that means that there's no data going in or out of the service which means that means I'm gonna have a lot more work to do tonight oh wait it just restored itself oh thank god thank god thank god thank god thank god got oh. myself ha. holy shit there's some good black friday deals happening this weekend or friday whatever anyway check this shit out friggin macbook air 13.3 inches 8.99 yeah that's a friggin awesome deal canon uh, rebel t3i 499 got the keurig gone for 69 bucks a shitty hp printer for 40 bucks a freaking router here the n900 dual band gigabit router 119 you know they got a, a freaking piece of shit tablet rt 249 and it comes with the keyboard you know ipod touch 270 bucks xbox 364 gig drop a hard drive into it makes it awesome for like freaking 119 a digital 7 inch android tablet digital deluxe is that the brand name whatever 68 bucks you know um let's see what other deals they got scroll down a little bit and things so like they got like a hard drive here 59 bucks for one terabyte 288 bucks for uh a freaking 40 inch tv awesome deal a bluetooth soundbar neat 40 bucks freaking e-reader who cares uh 32 gig drives for 12 bucks each oh got a fart farted and uh, hot by innovative whatever bluetooth countertop speaker that's pretty sweet another bluetooth tower stereo that is like uh, really like that hot by uh, innovative technology wireless headphones dvds and like office like this is awesome i'd like to buy that thing and put it in the living room maybe i don't know how much it normally is but that's that's pretty neat put it in the living room and i can link my phone to it and play music while i'm like doing stuff yeah so the funny thing about black friday is is we never had black friday sales until last year we started doing it because uh, store realized that if we started offering Black Friday to people we could sell a lot more junk and uh, make a lot more money before Christmas really that's the reason why they did it how fucked is that yeah I'm broke as a joke on coke so I won't be doing any shopping on this Black Friday yeah buddy well, I'm not really broke. I just, everything I'm looking at, I don't need. So, 40-inch TV would be nice, but I got a 32 downstairs, and I never sit down there, so why the fuck bother, you know? Ah, uh, for the love of cigarettes. Because I don't love them. I hate them. I love the vape. For the love of the vape, I should say. It's freaking snowy out, and my car's covered in snow, and I just started it up, and guess what? We gotta go to work. Some bitch pile of monk, and that's gotta go to work. Work! So I'm going to pack up a quick lunch and uh, we're going to freak off to work. Where the hell did I put my lunch pail? There it is. So yeah, let's get this all racked up and ready to rock. And then we'll freak off to work. Yeah. I already got my lunch packed up. Just got to go out to the car now. Clear it off of snow. And then uh, cock out of here, I guess. Sweet. All right, let's go. Son of a bitch. Holy, a freaking double whammy here. This is why you can't leave too late. Because otherwise you get cocked over by school buses letting kids off. But that should be coming to an end soon, eh? With Christmas coming up. Like, we're what today? The 27th? So, 
Yeah, like they should be getting off soon for for Christmas vacation, right? I can't remember when they get off. I think they only get two weeks off. Usually get off like the weekend before Christmas, then they go back two weeks after Christmas. I know college students are let off like the first week in December, so bonus for them, I guess. But I uh, can't remember what high school and grade school is. Oh well, whatever. This is my fault for leaving at at 3:36. Seeks. No. So I still got to play Tetris in the garage and move the blower to the front and put the trapters in the back and I'm tempted to but I'm not gonna because I'll probably get stuck but I was tempted to take the, the romper in the backyard and see how far I can get before it gets stuck but uh, I kind of don't want to have to try and force that thing out. Mind you it is just a tractor so what's Eastlink doing here? They're out of their jurisdiction. But anyway, um, no, I was tempted to actually take the romper back there, but you know, it's so light that if it does get stuck, all you gotta do is get off of it. And, but uh, that, or I haven't really even driven my little mini bike much, and in the snow, who cares if you fall? It's snow, you can soak it. So I was tempted to <laughs> take the mini bike in the backyard and see how it does on the packed snow, on the non, it's not even packed snow, on the snow, you know? Oh, I'm really loving this cartomizer tank on my on my Inek. It friggin' hits nice. Also, I found out it takes the 45 millimeter uh, one and three quarter inch uh, cardos, and those are pretty cheap. You can buy a five pack of uh, Bose or Bodge or Bodgy or whatever the hell that company's called. You can buy a five pack of pre punched cardos for like seven bucks. So I might order a bunch of those, and then I can get that other tank working because it takes the same cartomizers. And I found out those. Uh, a little cheap jobbies, the $20 kit from Deal Extreme. I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, how the hell does this thing even work? I can't even see any ropes to wick the sauce up or anything. After closer inspection, I realized they're cardamizer tanks for frig's sakes. Yeah, they're not atomizers, they're cardamizers. They're running 35 millimeter cardos, so I might buy a pack of 35 mil cardos just so I can keep those tanks in working condition. Mind you, I do plan on giving uh, Jules one of the batteries and one of the tanks just so she can have a backup unit so what happened before doesn't happen again. And what I'm talking about is, is she uh, kind of, sort of forgot to charge her battery and she went to work and it was her first break and her battery shit the bed. And it was a day that was really stressful and she ended up having a cigarette and she couldn't even smoke it because it made her sick. Yep, that's what vape does to you people. It completely makes you not want cigarettes anymore. I wonder if the spoiler on that truck makes it faster. Huh? Yeah. Super wing. Too fast, too furious. So apparently next year, both Ford and Dodge in their 1500 and uh, 150 series trucks, they want to offer a diesel option. And apparently GM's bringing back the silver, or not Silverado, freak sakes, the Colorado and the Canyon. And they want to offer the uh, a, a small 2.8 liter diesel as an option. How freaking cool is that? If that happens, I just may end up getting a Canyon for my for my truck because it'd be the perfect size. And if I can get it in diesel, well, shit, I'd be stupid not to. Okay, buddy, I thought this spoiler makes you faster. Fucking hate people who do that. They do like I do. They just lane split right in the, the... Yeah, I'm going over here too, bud. So you're not passing me there, you idiot. This guy in his Toyota behind me is really mad. Because I'm in the turning lane and I'm doing 70. And he's trying to get around me. Because he's a dink. Holy, this car is really fogging up this, uh, this car. I'm loving it. I love Cardos. They vape so awesome. Only thing I want to try for vaping next is a mod and a rebuildable. It's the only thing I'd want to try next. But that can wait because right now I gotta worry about Christmas. Freak sakes. Oh, yeah. Just the paradise. It's funny though because Ottawa got blanketed with snow. London got blanketed with snow. We're more north than both of them. And this is all we got is this little bit, which is frig all. Like, if my car can crawl through it, that is nothing. That's, that's my logic. If the G6 can get through it, then it's not a big deal. Mind you, I'm gonna have to clean my driveway there real soon. Which is why I'm thinking about parking beside, behind the Trans Am, because it's easier to get out. It's just a pain in the cock with that snowbank there. What snowbank? Oh, it'll be there, don't worry. 
It might not be there now, but come January, I guarantee you, I'll have a snowbank at the end of my road that's going to be massive. Oh, man. Tonight's going to be hell on earth. I know it. Oh, I don't know why I rushed to work. <laughs> hey, it's one degree colder down here. Why? Because of lake. Because of lake, it's colder down here. That's right. Minus seven down here, minus six at the house. Should have stayed home. Oh, well, that's not an option. We're too short staffed. If I were to call in sick right now, pandemonium would ensue. Literally, like there's nobody to work. So pandemonium would ensue. You know, we got a buddy who was off on uh, Monday and Tuesday. Well, he's off again today. He's at the hospital getting himself checked. Oh, Subaru winter. Anyway, he's uh, he's getting himself checked at the hospital. He probably has pneumonia or some shit. And uh, we still got the other person off. And our fearless leader hasn't come into work yet. He's been calling in sick all week. So that's great. So it's been like freaking just skeleton crew like two people on during the day two people on at night and it's been hell on earth we need more part-timers we've been telling the company that forever hire a couple part-timers why don't you just get like two or three friggin part-timers have them work on the weekends and the odd day during the week when there's when we're short staffed and uh, problem solved no 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 you guys can do it you guys are fine so it's like all right well whatever we'll do our best but uh you suck like i don't know. it's like everybody's afraid of creating jobs heaven forbid we employ people so they have money to spend and make our economy better eh just saying anyway i'm at work i'm gonna head her inside and get this shift over with so let's pitter patter and have adder and things yeah bruce from head office is heading out he's going on his weekend two day off that son of a bitch i'm going home it's freaking Crap, did I grab my vape? Oh, I'm going back in the office. Freak sakes. Uh. We got 10 liters per hundred kilometers. 10 liters per hundred kilometers. Yeah, people, it's midnight. I got the Inakin. I went back for it. I'm a trooper like that. We're gonna go home. We're gonna get shit did. Let's go. Oh my God, we're home and you can hear the puppy. Can you hear him? Can you hear him? Don't let him outside for shit. You will die. Okay, will die. And you. Alrighty, so yeah, driving home, listening to my car, not just the exhaust, but everything. Freaking car sounds like a jalopy now. It's all like, not the engine, I mean like the suspension and stuff, just sounds like balls. I love this friggin' car cartomizer. This thing is tits. It's the tits. Just the flavor, the flavor pops in your face. It's great. Big, big fan of the Cardos. I'm probably gonna rebuild that other tank with a Bog, Boge, whatever. Uh, freaking Super Cardo, two uh, dual coil. Gonna get that one up and running again. But um, now I kind of want to get into the rebuildables. So honestly, <laughs> people have asked, have I saved money doing uh, since I started vaping? Well, if you consider, like, I got enough e juice now to last me for a long time, but I want to get more because I like the flavors. But if you consider the shit I bought when I was at Blokes, I spent about 270 bucks there which is kind of crazy because all I got was this and uh, the Vamo V3 with Pro Tank 2 kind of expensive if you ask me for what I bought but um, yeah that guy was marking up the prices big time because he hosed me the Vamo V3 Pro Tank 2 one extra bottle of juice uh, charger and batteries 210 freaking dollars you go on any vaping site and you look up the same thing that I just bought and you might spend about a hundred bucks if you're buying premium e-juice that's what I'm saying. That guy is way too overpriced. And I was actually uh, talking with a friend tonight. One of my friends from London. You've probably seen her in my videos. Uh, Brittany, the blonde girl that was in one of the videos when I was down there. She was only, she only came over and visited once because she had a busy work week ahead of her. And uh, she needs to quit smoking. Doctors have told her, you got to get off the cigarettes. They're doing you no good and stuff. So tomorrow she's going to go pick up a vaporizer. And I told her, I said, listen, you're going to walk in there. He's going to set you up with something. And he's going to charge you like 60 to 80 bucks for for your initial kit. So do yourself a favor and uh, try and talk him down because he's already marking it up 300%. Like honestly, this is not worth 60 bucks. An Ego T battery, which is not even genuine Ego, it says Ego C on it. You know, but let me show you something here. No, nope, wrong battery. This is the cheap Chinese battery that I got at my Deal Extreme and it says Ego T. 
Ego doesn't make a T battery. Ego makes an Ego battery. That's it. So the Ego T, the T is supposed to be twist for variable voltage. So basically, he's selling cheap Chinese knockoffs at premium prices, which, you know, he got away with it with me. He got away with it with Bloke, because Bloke bought a bunch of shit off the guy and got raped out the ass. The Pro Tank 2 that I bought, he charged me 40 bucks for it. The Vamo V3, he charged me 90 bucks for it. For 90 bucks, you can buy a IT, I taste VTR, which is a way better device, and uh, it'll it'll sub ohm. It'll go down to 0 0.1 ohms or 0 0.4 ohms. Sorry, ha. where the uh, I taste it can go down pretty close to 1 ohm, stable before. It detects a short and says no I can't so that's where this guy is ripping people off which is bad because that's the worst part about vaping that's the worst experience is when you go to a store and you buy something and you think you're getting a great deal then you find out you just got friggin hosed because an online dealer who can get you the same product to your house in two days uh, has a better deal now a lot of you're probably saying yeah but Adam think of it like he's got to order this stuff in he's got to have it sit on a shelf it costs some money that is true it does cost them money but the same applies for the web stores they got to have this shit in stock and ready to ship it out the moment you make that order so you can get your product on time so to me it doesn't make sense why he has to hose so I told him I told her I said do yourself a favor and see if you can get it if he wants to sell you one of the ego batteries with uh, a canister and some juice try and get the kit for 40 bucks then it might be worth it this is why if I decided to run a store I would keep my prices slightly above online for in-store but I keep it comparable online for online like if I made a web page and sold shit online I keep it comparable to the online Online prices mainly because you know if you're shopping online and you come to my store let's say I call it vape tech you come to vape tech online and you want a vamo and I'm charging 70 bucks for a vamo and then you go over to can vape and they got it on for 60 bucks who are you gonna buy it from not this guy however if you come into the store that $60 vamo is now a $65 vamo you know that's more reasonable I'm making an extra five bucks because you're coming into the store getting it that day where shipping it would would cost you obviously in shipping but you know like that that's the only part that pissed me off and it kind of pissed off bloke too when I was down there and I showed him deal extreme and all the different mods and shit they had and he realized right away that a lot of the stuff is the same shit buddy Van Dudo had in the store and when he saw the price that you can get for the stuff on on deal extreme versus the prices in the store he was like holy shit this is ridiculous and I went hey bud it is what it is you know you're getting what you pay for the only nice thing about the store was he actually sat there showed us how to fill them showed us how to use them showed us how to take care of them that's kind of cool that's kind of worth it well, son of a Clearomizer. See what I did there? I used the vaping term. Ha! <laughs> Friggin' World of Warcraft. Super sale. Check this shit out. $5 US. Buy now. You get your subscription required. 30 days of free game time. Levels 1 to 85. Internet connection required. Battle.net registration required. Technical specifications if, in case you're not sure if your computer can run it. Five friggin' dollars for World of Warcraft. When I bought it initially, it was 60 bucks, and it was 60 bucks for each expansion. Son of a bitch. But I lost them all because I lost my old Blizzard account. But that's fine because I can't get back into that game because it got me really addicted before. And if I got back into World of Warcraft, let me tell you, these vlogs would be two minutes long every freaking day because I would do no vlogging. I'd be too busy leveling my tune and poning noobs big times because that's the way, uh huh, uh huh, I like it. Skeet a dinner douche. That's why I won't get back into World of Warcraft. That and I guess you can call me a wow widow. Yeah. But yeah, today's been one of those days. Work genuinely suck like it was busier than frig it was just me and bruce in there tonight and uh sure enough the friggin uh network guys decided hey let's frig with shit while we're while we're short staffed on the help desk let's just totally start frigging with shit so they started frigging with shit and in turn that caused shit to get frigged over it was busier than a hooker on a Saturday night in there tonight because shit was cocked. But luckily we only have two days left and then the weekend is here. Time for some beer and I want to buy some beer this weekend because I really feel like getting drunk. Yeah. And the last time I was drunk was that one flyer day when I drank the bottle of wine and did flyers. The time before that that I was drunk was at Blokes. Haven't really felt the need to drink much lately for some reason. Still trying to figure out why. But anyway, haven't really had the reason to, feel, to get drunk lately or felt the need to or really wanted to have any liquor. So... I guess ever since that bottle of wine, that was all I had. But I need to go to the beer store because I got a bunch of empties I want to return. Look, you can tell. Yeah, bunch of empties that I want to return. Yup. And then I figured I could just, you know, 
take whatever money that gives me, put a little bit of cash towards it, maybe get a 12 pack of James or something, get fucking drunk on Saturday and play some Grand Theft Auto. You shouldn't drink and drive, but nobody said anything about drinking and playing drive, you know? Playing drive? Driving in a game? Yeah, I think that's legal. Cops shouldn't get me. Well, they might get me in game, but that's about it. Skeetily douche. Also, I'm thinking about buying some more of these bulbs from the dollar store and loading them into this lamp because I'm not impressed with these lights because if you notice, they, they, they shine a real yellow light, a real yellow light, and that's that's no good. Where these lights shine a nice bright, nice bright white light. These lights are nicer. Holy shit. Don't get close to those people. Oh, that hurt the eye. Anyway, but uh, I like those bulbs over there better than these pile of shits here. I'll probably reuse these somewhere where I don't know, but uh, not impressed with the way these things perform. Mind you, these are 45 watts. Those ones there are 65 watts, so that could be the difference. And this kit here for all three was about eight bucks, and those there are two bucks a piece. So they're cheaper, better, brighter. I like it. Also, I'm thinking about saying fuck this bed sheet green screen bullshit. Thinking about going out and picking up a can of primer. I'm gonna take off this chair rail, get some putty. I want to putty up this crack. I got another crack back behind here somewhere. I'm gonna putty that one up, take off the chair rail, putty in there if I need to, get it all cleaned up and looking pretty spiffy. And then I'm gonna prime the whole freaking wall and then I'm gonna paint her chroma green. That way there I won't have these wrinkles to deal with. I won't have any, any shadows caused because the sheet's all Dick. It'll be one nice flat green wall and I can do some pretty cool shit in here. The reason why I haven't been using it for the vaping videos is because it's a pain in the ass to work with because like even over here look at this great big crease. There's no way to get that out. I tried with an iron, didn't work. Actually we tried with an iron. Look at that. Burnt the fucker. Yeah, no good. So what I'm going to do with this sheet is I might take it upstairs and figure out a way to hang it in the red room so I can use it behind me um, when I'm doing games and that way there I can have my webcam up and chroma key the webcam and it'll look pretty badass. So lots of ideas going on and just like I said I'm gonna buy some primer and get some nice bright green paint and then I'll be ready to rock Just gotta make sure I don't wear my green vlogging life shirt when I'm doing chroma keying or otherwise I'll be a head uh, just a floating head even though it's a cool effect and all but come on come on come on come on also need to come up with an idea where to place this thing my little 32 inch tree I was thinking quite possibly putting it over here on the corner desk just in on the corner area of the pie putting it there And then it'll be you'll see it through the window and stuff and other options are uh, frig I don't know you know just take it out of the box maybe and 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 fire it uh, Fire it right on the kitchen table after I clear all the garbage off of it make it a centerpiece There's an outlet uh, underneath the table over there plug her into there and be like bing 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 I'm a Christmas tree and Bing, 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 bing. You know, could be pretty badass. Maybe, probably, probably not. Who knows? But anyway, people, I was on a Skype call with JP. We we're chatting a bit. He's got some awesome shit happening on his end. Wanted to tell me all about it. He also wanted to tell me about World of Warcraft $5 sale, son of a bitch. But it's currently 1.30 in the morning, and I've been noticing lately that I haven't been going to bed real late. And I wake up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, and I feel like my old self. So I think I'm going to call it quits for now. We're going to freaking edit it up, upload, and all that jazz. So if you like today's video, you know what to do. Click that like button. Any questions, comment? Comments, concerns, hey down below the girl. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.